Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am going to be doing your reading for October 30th through November 5th. This is intended to be a weekly love reading. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for a Virgo uh, sun and rising. I have pre-shuffled, so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. <laughs> I will zoom this in as soon as I get these laid out. Perfect. So the basis of your reading is the lover's card. All right. So that's wonderful. That means that there's an unexpected choice in love coming your way. If it hasn't happened already, it means that somebody new could be coming into your life. Or if you're with somebody, there could be a resurgence of a relationship where the love just um, renews itself. That could be the case. If you're looking for somebody new and you are single, this person could just pop right in or it could have happened already or it could be coming up in the near future. I see that many of you are going through a period of renewal and that's fantastic. Many of you are freeing yourself from a situation that no longer serves you, which is allowing you to your soul to heal and renew. It feels like many of you have let go of something seriously that you that no longer serves you, whether it be a job, a thought, or a person, okay? Many of you have let it go or you are real, real close to letting it go. It looks like excitement is here and love, okay? Where you guys have been looking for, it just looks like it's an exciting week. Uh, exciting with um, harmony as well so you know there's a good mix of both um, and it's all because of you I think that any negativity that was in your life has been released okay so congratulations it looks like you guys have just broadened your horizons you're following your own truth you're following your inner guide you're following your intuition and your gut and it's like you're just focusing on the positive and, and not the negative. It's like this is not a negative week. It looks like, you know, your positive thoughts are bringing in something really, really good. Um, something that you are going to be very excited about. Um, congratulations. It just looks beautiful. And many of you are working on your spiritual journey as well. Okay. So I feel like... Um, you're vibrating very high. Your vibration is high this week. And I think that it's drawing people in. You know, it's drawing um, love towards you. All right. And it's. I think that you, your vibration, like I said, your vibration is so high. It's, it's amazing. And it's because you freed yourself or you are freeing yourself one day at a time from some toxic situation, okay? And it is a need to celebrate. And I think, I mean, it feels really, really good. Um, many of you or some of you could be... Um, in a third party situation okay and I just have to throw that in there because it's here all right and this may or may not resonate for everybody because it's for hundreds and thousands of people and bits and pieces may resonate with you and not the other okay so some of you could be involved in a third party situation where you have an interest in two directions okay so one hand you are 
um, you've been with somebody or you've always figured it was going to be this person. But on the other hand, somebody is showing up or has shown up that has sparked your interest, okay? And the chemistry and the attraction is so strong that you feel like you really need to go in that direction. And that here is portrayed by the Lover's card in these, this Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups and this um, Knight of Wands. I, that's where the change comes. I feel like you may, many of you have always had your eyes in one direction, but all of a sudden there's a different path ahead of you and you can't deny it, okay? So, and you know, the thing is here is this is a gift from above where you need to honor your truth. You need to follow your intuition. And that's the lesson here this week. Are you going to follow your intuition? Are you going to follow your needs? Okay, because that's what needs to be done here. I see that many of you need to broaden your horizons and head in a different direction. Okay, this is this is it right here. The two of the two of wands that says where are you going to focus your energy? You're going to focus on the past, or you're going to focus on the future. And many of you are focusing it on the future, and you're looking forward. You are. You're looking forward, and you're looking for the peace and the harmony and the excitement. Okay. Here's the excitement that you've been looking for. And in, in order to reach that ultimate um, passion that you have, you know, to, in order to express the passion within your body, in your soul, you have to honor yourself, okay? You have to listen to your truth. And I see that this week you may be doing that, you know, following your truth, letting go of something that no longer serves you, okay? Seriously. All right, so many of you are doing that. And I think you've been through a period of healing, okay? It's not like this was an impulsive decision for you. Many of you have, many of you have been contemplating this for a while now, and it's finally happening this week. You can't deny it. It's undeniable. And you're just, you are vibrating very high because, for one, you're listening to your inner guide. You're following your truth. I mean, the minute you do that, your vibration raises, and you're just renewing your soul, okay? And I think that if you're single, love is right around the corner, okay? There could be a new love, like, right around the corner. And if you're coupled, it could be a resurgence in a relationship where the love is reunited, okay? But if... But in many, many, many cases, for most of the people watching this, it's a choice between two people. Leaving one situation to follow your heart, to follow your truth, okay? I'm just getting the next pull. And there you are. That's a man or a woman. Many of you may be becoming single, if you haven't already, and being very grateful for that that you have, working on yourself. And like I've already said, you're, work, you're working on yourself, and it's raising your vibration. You're, you're renewing. It's a time of renewal for you. And because you're vibrating so high, you know, the new love is like you're, you're, pulling, you're pulling love towards you. Okay, it's like you're, you're a magnet and you're pulling it towards you. Now, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I think that many of you may be going through a period of loving yourself, being grateful for who, the, who you are. Okay, being grateful for all that you have. Freeing yourself from any false entrapment, for anything that wasn't true to you. Freeing yourself from... Um, any, any of the negative energies, okay? Yeah, yeah, you guys are honoring your truth this week and heading in the direction that bring, makes you feel loved. Heading in the direction of uh, serenity and peace and love. This is for Virgo, okay? I feel like the, the truth is you're following your truth and you're not um, being held back by anything, okay? I see that um, there are some desires here, okay? There is some desires. There could be um, a 
there's a strong magnetic attraction between you and another person that is undeniable. You cannot fight it, okay? No matter how hard you try because it's it's something that you need to do, okay? That's what I see. It's something that you need to do, all right? We have you and we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Taurus and Capricorn. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So we have all the signs, okay? We do, I see that many of you are making a choice between two people, okay? Or two situations, all right? It could be two people, it could be two situations because there's this is for hundreds and thousands of people. But love is here however you look at it and it is because you are making changes you're making changes you're broadening your horizons you're looking for something more and that's all there is to it all right and it looks beautiful it really does yeah many of you are soul searching you're working on your spiritual journey you're you are ascending, vibrating very high, and when you do that, you're magnetic, and you're just, everybody is drawn to you, and that's where you might find that you can't deny an attraction. I'm getting you one of my daily angel guidance cards, and one of my Archangel Michael cards. Notice the signs is the first one. And the second one, ooh, makes sense. Like I said, you guys are releasing things that no longer serve you. There's no doubt about it. I see that. And the minute you do it, your vibration raises, seriously, quickly. Notice the signs. This, this is an angel card. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. The angels are helping you with these changes. Continue to ask them for help, okay? Whether it's an angel or somebody that has passed, somebody is helping you with this renewal that you are going through. Keep asking and believing. They are helping you, believe it. This lover's card is here for a reason as the basis of your reading. You are meant for great love. Keep going, all right? Detach from the situation. This is an Archangel Michael card, my prayer. Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation. Detach from the situation. Ask Arch Archangel Michael to cut the cords that no longer serve you. It's already happening because you're doing it. With a little bit of help from Archangel Michael and the other angels, you can cut it that much quicker. Ask. Believe it. I see that many of you are going through some major life changes right now. And you are um, renewing your beauty. You're renewing your soul. And people are being drawn to you because of it. And this week, there could be an unexpected choice in love because of your beautiful renewal. And it's something that you won't be able to deny. So Virgo, this is for October 30th through November 5th. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I will talk to you next week.